We are really talking about a historic storm just east of us, and that's why we are all nervously, but hopefully, watching this thing turn. Really need that to happen, and until it gets north of a position directly east of Tampa, I'm not going to sound the all clear. We got to get this thing out of here because it's moving so slow. One mile per hour, the momentum of the eye could jog it east or west closer to Florida at any time. And, you know, you probably want to know, well, when are we going to know? At one mile per hour, in order for this thing to get north of Tampa, it could take 36 hours, maybe more, to get this thing out of there. So I'm not going to be able to fully clear us today, or really the east coast of Florida. 165 mile an hour Category 5 hurricane. The forecast does take it up the coast. But some of the models are starting to hug the coast, and that's why the Carolinas, they're prepping here, Charleston up towards Wilmington for a much closer encounter with the storm. So the red here is the GFS, the white is the Euro. This is the new GFS that came out this morning. Watch the red, the bullseye there, the circle, that's the center of the storm. The Euro keeps it comfortably offshore for hurricane wind, but the GFS has it closer, maybe only by about 30 miles. But that 30 miles, huge difference, especially for the first coast up here. Daytona to Jacksonville, really getting concerned about this area. That would really push a surge into the St. John's River. We saw a lot of flooding with Jackson in Jacksonville. I believe it was with Matthew and with Irma. Uh, we could see that again. And then it takes it up the coast, hugging the South Carolina coast, the low country, maybe an eye wall. Uh, moving through or parts of the eye wall through Charleston and then up the uh, east coast through the Carolinas. Tropical storm watches for Polk and Highlands County. Tuesday would be the day to see those. Right now, the center of the storm is still far away. What we're getting is not even clouds directly associated with the storm. It's just moisture off the east coast. And notice there are some showers near Orlando. Those are going to move into uh, Pasco and Hernando County. The outer rain bands, showers along the east coast of Florida. The eye itself still over Grand Bahama took a jog to the north this morning and now it's heading directly west again kind of drifting toward Freeport. We're definitely done with the system by the weekend. Now it is going to turn breezy today, tomorrow and Wednesday, but I think by tomorrow night and Wednesday we're really going to see Dorian accelerate to the north and east so that by Wednesday night I think we'll definitely be all clear here near Florida and folks up towards the coast will be worrying about the storm.